Namaskar. Over the year, I have observed that many people come to the Yoga Institute to reduce their weight for their obesity problem. When other treatments fail or rebound, being moderately overweight is easily manageable. But obesity is a complex disease because it involves excessive amount of body fat. It does not involve just the appearance of a person. When one becomes obese, obesity itself is extremely dangerous for the body. Excess fat can cause serious diseases. So let's look at obesity symptoms here. When person's weight is above the ideal weight, it could lead to overweight and then gradually obesity. Obesity is diagnosed when the body mass index BMI is 30 or higher. A person with a normal weight may have BMI between 18.5 to 24.9. However, muscular athletes may have BMI in the obesity category even though they don't have excess fat in their body and they are not obese. Obesity does not come alone. When the person is obese, all the systems of the body like the circulatory system, digestive system and excretory system has to work harder. Such a person is prone to have serious problems like heart disease and stroke and type 2 diabetes. Obesity may also lead to certain types of cancers like cancer of uterus, cervix, endometrium, ovaries, breast, colon, cancer, rectum, esophagus, liver, gallbladder, pancreas, kidney and prostate. Problems like heartburn, gallbladder disease, liver disorder, gynecological problems, reproductive problems, sexual issues and osteoarthritis, pain in all the joints of the body are very common when one suffers from obesity. Yes, these are all serious conditions. But what causes obesity in the first place? Usually, obesity is caused by combination of causes like excess food intake, lack of physical activity and genetic factor. You see, everybody needs a certain amount of calorie. Depending upon age, gender, physical activity, health conditions and so on. However, when one takes more calorie than required, they get stored in the form of fat. Some diets such as fast foods, beverages are too high in calorie. In few cases, obesity can occur because of the hormonal disorders like PCOD, hypothyroidism. It could also be a side effect of medication or psychiatric illness. Loneliness, depression in women in 40s going through menopause or emptiness syndrome may also cause emotional eating for comfort and pleasure. Here, genetics may also play a role in how efficiently body converts food into energy, controls appetite or burn calories during exercise. Sometimes obesity tends to run in family, not just because of the genes they share. Family members generally make similar lifestyle choices when it comes to eating and activity habits. In some people, obesity may be because of medical cause. Medical problems such as arthritis also can lead to decreased activity, which may result in weight gain. Some medications like antidepressant, anti-seizure medication, diabetes medication, antipsychotic medication and steroids can cause weight gain if there is less physical activity. If one doesn't have safe area to walk or exercise, it will lead to obesity. Similarly, one may not know the healthy way of cooking or one may not have access to healthier food as one ages, hormonal changes and a less active lifestyle increases the risk of obesity. If one doesn't consciously control what one eats and become more physically active when one ages, one may gain excess weight. Other common causes of obesity include lack of sleep and smoking, drinking. It is important to remember that one can counteract most of these causes and risk factors through a correct lifestyle. Popular weight loss procedures 
and medication sometimes have a risk of side effect pediatric surgery is done only when there are many health complications due to obesity one should be mindful that even after surgery lifestyle management is the key otherwise one may gain weight again however losing even 5 to 10% of one's weight can delay or prevent some of the diseases that come with obesity today let us see how to manage this with yoga well yoga is not just only about asana and pranayama yoga is a complete package deal which also encourages a person to look closely at certain lifestyle aspects such as diet exercise state of mind and so on with a four yogi concepts of ahar vihar achar and vichar one can easily learn to correct the lifestyle change first let's understand ahar diet plays 70% role in losing weight so as far as possible eat sattvic food which is low in calorie fresh natural fibers and digest well improve your gut flora by eating curd and other fermented food drink at least 8 to 10 glasses of water daily and increase your fluid intake by taking butter milk coconut water herbal and fruit infusion tea and herb infused water in your diet all this will provide easily digestible meal without adding extra calories in your body when you do not have adequate amount of fluid in your meals you may feel that you are hungry but what you need is only fluid or water if you still feel hungry then you may eat something eat only as much as required by your body for its proper functioning and health remember one thing that our stomach is of the size of our fist fill it half with food one fourth with nutritious fluid and leave one fourth empty for the proper movement of the food and for the formation of gases chew the food well as this will prevent overeating increase dietary fiber as it makes you feel full without extra calorie it stays in your stomach for longer and forms the bulk to prevent constipation eat small small frequent meals for better absorption and to give you a feeling of fullness when you keep long gap you may overeat in the next meal and the excess of food will get consumed and stored as fat try to avoid snacking between meals to avoid extra calories for some reason if you overeat then the next meal should be only made of fluid like milk butter milk fruits and soups your dinner should always be light and should include soups never have heavy dinner and go to sleep as it will cause weight gain at home always choose low calorie food which are simple and healthy before you go out for any party have some home cooked food or snack or a soup this will help you to take only small portion of the high fat party food don't depend on weight loss replacement powder and artificial supplement too much these are tabasic and do not provide mood uplifting and anti inflammatory vitamins to the body when you stop taking these supplements you may find rapid weight gain so you see they are not a long term benefits for obesity avoid foods which are loaded with calories such as fried foods sweets chocolates sweetened drinks and so on once in a while as a special treat you may eat high calorie high fat sweet treat provided you eat healthy food most of the time consciously make a habit of using less salt next let us move on to the second point that is vihar which includes rest recreation exercise sleep etc avoid any recreational activities which require you to sit or stand at one place walk as much as possible in the beginning start walking gently for little distance and take rest in between slowly increase the distance and the speed 
this will happen when you start losing some weight and find yourself fitter when your stamina improves you can do activities like nature walk dancing gardening badminton swimming and so on one important factor is good sleep poor sleep can cause stress and moodiness which leads to increase in your hunger when it comes to handling stress you may practice some conscious relaxation techniques such as nispanda bhav dradasan vakrasan and shavasan if you are not comfortable lying on your back lie down on your side this position puts less pressure on your back and make breathing easy if a big belly makes your vakrasan uncomfortable keep a pillow under the chest to make breathing easier every day before your meals relax in pranayam four diaphragmic breathing to activate your parasympathetic nervous system after your meal take a light stroll for 20 minutes then you can do vajrasan nishpand bhav or sit in any of the meditative pose if you find vajrasan is difficult sit in sukhasan and sit on the chair and keep your legs supported this will direct more blood flow to your digestive organ then do dradhasan on the left side lie down on the left side and relax this will help digestion third comes aachar this is about your routines see if you are determined to lose weight it is very important to follow the routines you set to manage your weight if you can also stick to these routines during weekends and vacation you will definitely have long lasting success usually those who are overweight may also have other complications like heart problem diabetes and thyroid imbalance so when one chooses a yogic technique the necessary precautions must be followed the best way is to begin with sukshma vyaya and then one by one do lying down practice sitting practice standing practice and so on the best asan for improving digestion and also for releasing gases and constipation are pavan muktasan and yoga mudra modify these asanas according to your capacity for example in the beginning pavan muktasan could be practiced by only bending your legs later you can try to hold them closer to your chest with your hands sometimes certain postures suffer because of big belly and the curvature in the spine do supta vakrasan to release the pressure on your back if one is not at all able to do any poses which require lying down on the belly then one may do the marjari asan or the cat pose after one is successful in losing some weight through diet control then one can practice standing and weight bearing asanas these asanas will increase muscle mass and reduce fat here surya namaskar and dynamic asanas are the best for weight loss if there are no other health restriction you can do all the pranayams the best one to reduce stress are anulom vilom pranayam and brahmari pranayam to overcome sluggish digestion surya bhedan and kapal bhati are good practice kriyas such as jiva bhul shodhan and vaman dhoti to detoxify your body and keep your stomach clean to remain slim and healthy regular body massaging and using hot water towel to wipe your body also help in improving digestion metabolism and drainage of lymphatic system monitor your weight regularly to detect any changes maintain a journal or diary to write down what you ate how much you ate how you felt how hungry you were etc after a while you will see some pattern in this record and this will help you to plan and control your eating habits finally we come to vichar your thought processes most of our eating habits develop in our childhood by observing our family members some families unfortunately have developed a habit of cooking and eating too much their life centers around food it is used for emotional contentment 
be it a time for celebration or tensions how to break such old pattern practice kriya yoga with tap swadhyay and ishwar pradhan for tap practice self control and avoid food that is not good for you for swadhyay observe how good one feels and how light one feels after eating sattvic food for ishwar pradhan put in your best effort and surrender the rest to god say a small prayer before the meal and cultivate dharma bhav this will bring the realization that food is for nourishing the body and not for any pleasure or pleasing your taste buds most of the time weight gain is a psychosomatic problem it is important to develop awareness to not eat emotionally whenever one feels too emotional one must either go for a walk or meditate or talk to someone whom they trust isn't that much better than eating by the way remember that any food one eats when one is stressed that does not get digested properly and turns into toxins that worsens the weight problem to maintain awareness cultivate nana bhava and practice reflection have faith in the higher reality and accept yourself the way you are it is more important to be fit than to be thin once you accept yourself you will have a positive body image dress up according to your own body structure rather than trying to fit into the clothes that suits smaller body frame when a person is confident and compassionate one is beautiful This is regardless of one's size or shape. So connect with your inner self and continue to help others. This will attract more loving people into your life and make your life really joyful. With these four concepts of ahar, vihar, achar and vichar, change your life from today. Yes, start from today itself. When you start getting positive results, Make these yogic concepts a lifelong commitment and enjoy excellent health for the rest of your life. Namaskar.